Hey, it's Anthony Meisner with Land Title, just bringing you the Lafayette local insights for April of 2021. There is a lot going on here, but keep in mind that one of the biggest concerns and factors that we have is that last year we were in a shutdown in April. So the year over year numbers don't really make a lot of sense. So let's try to make some sense of what's actually going on in the market here. We are now at the record low inventory that Lafayette has ever had. Um, nine units, the first time I've ever seen a single digit number for actives. And what that really truly means is these number of sales here in the marketplace are going to be stifled for sure. Um, you know, we've seen a huge increase in under contracts and solds, and that's because there's a lot coming on the market. Even though the active inventory is sitting relatively low, our pendings, the, these under contract numbers are up 21% month over month. And as long as inventory continues to come on the market, you won't see this dip too hard. Now, as low as it is, it just means the velocity in the market is out of control in Lafayette. And it's definitely, um, we have some more metrics to kind of reiterate that fact. What's happening in the marketplace like Lafayette, when you see this type of behavior is the average sales prices are going through the roof. So that 24, 25% year over year um, is a very possible figure for appreciation in homes. And 813,000 is, Ooh, is that high, right? It's moving up there real quick. So let's take a look at what's going on with the average sold price. You can see we've had just a record amount of appreciation over the last little while. And you can see back from 2018 to current, even though it bounces around quite a bit, it's a really steady increase over time. Um, if in fact you got 24, 25% increase in your home, it went up $161,000 per house if you live or currently live in Lafayette. So that's a really amazing number for you. The only thing to be concerned about is that there's probably a lot more higher end homes selling than lower end homes because the luxury market seems to be doing really, really well in a time like this because some of those homes that were a little bit harder to sell are coming to market. And for some reason, people are hanging on for dear life to the lower end of the market. So another thing that's worth talking about um, we're, we're kind of at the mercy of listings coming on the market. This is listing season, right? We are in the spring. The spring market is a really great time for, for people to bring their home to market because their kids are getting out of school. They're going to make a move over the summer is a great time to do that or towards the end of the school year. And what you're really going to see here is if listings continue to come on the market, we're going to see our normal trajectory where May or June might be our high months. And we're probably not going to be able to keep up with these sale numbers we saw through the fall and the winter last year. So really keep your eye on, um, on the number of sales. It might bounce around and that's totally okay. It just depends on how many homes come to market in the Lafayette market. It's still a very, very strong market. You can see here, this is the supply of inventory. We are now at 0.26, which is one of the lowest in Boulder County right now. It means there's a whole week of inventory on the market when we are normally sitting somewhere um, around two to three months of inventory. So the balanced market is still, keep in mind, four to six months. So we're way, way below that. And you know the month supply of inventory is 80% less than it was a year ago, even when we were in the shutdown. So um, that's a pretty astronomical figure. With those single digit active units, these days on market are gonna get lower and lower. And when you start to see them approaching that 30 day mark, it means that people are starting to pay cash in some cases, and you're seeing, you know, quick turn time, term time loans. And, you know, these quick turnaround times and everything else just really, really show you how much buyer demand is in the marketplace. So 29 days is just ridiculous. I mean, you can see even back in 2018, when we had a really, really strong market, we were still hovering around 40 or so. So um, the Lafayette market has so much buyer demand, not nearly enough listings, but there is enough coming on the market that those pendings and under contracts are still soaring. So velocity is high. If you have any questions, call me. Always happy to help. I'm Anthony with Land Title, and I hope to catch you in the next video.